Hi, I'm Eric Naso with ericnaso.com, and this is a little quick video. I'm going to experiment with these, so let me know if you like them. Uh, here we have a Metabones. This is the EF to E mount. Now, uh, this is the version 4. Uh, I use it for Canon lenses, and uh, there was a new update, so I was really excited because I wanted to use it with my A7S and some awesome Canon glass like this Sigma 50 millimeter, which is an insanely good lens. So I like to use it. Obviously you can use it with this adapter, but the only problem I've been having, and it's kind of a big one, is it falls asleep using uh, it on the A7S or you turn on the camera and nothing happens. It's just black. So it stops talking. So uh, I saw there was a update, a firmware update uh, last week, actually. It was almost like a surprise to hear about it. This has been, what, almost two weeks later. But uh, this new firmware update is supposed to fix that problem on the A7S. So I'm excited about it. But uh, I also was hoping maybe there would be some kind of autofocus enhancement. Um, but, you know, that was that was probably wishful thinking or maybe a wishful wish because I don't think the adapter is going to get any better uh, with autofocus performance using Canon lenses. I think it's just it's just a language thing and it's not going to fix itself with firmware. It's this thing's translating Canon, you know, to Sony. And uh, so that's a you know, I think that's a tough one. And native lenses are always going to work better, I believe, with uh, Sony uh, A7S. Uh, than, say, using adapters, electronic ones uh, from third parties. However, being able to use your Canon glass is a big deal, so this has a huge purpose. So let's go ahead and go through the process of updating your firmware on the Metabones EF to E mount adapter. After you download the software, just open it up. But if you have it plugged in already, you'll need to unplug it first then just follow the on-screen instructions. It's pretty simple, but you do have to remember one thing. You gotta push that little button on the side, plug it in, then go back to the software, and then click update, and it's off and running. All right, well, there you go, all done. Now put the camera together again, that 50 millimeter Sigma with the uh, adapter attached, and I did a little bit of testing, and yeah, the AF wasn't very good. Autofocus really wasn't promised again, so I didn't expect to see anything, but hey, had to try, right? It still hunts a little, you know, and misses the target. But if you're gonna wanna shoot stills, I really think native is best. Well, due to the second showing of Birdman that's going on right now in my living room, I was forced outside to wrap this up. The update was pretty easy, very straightforward. Just remember to hold the button down and stick the USB cable in and then, you know, uh, activate the update. Pretty simple. Uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping for maybe an autofocus improvement, but hey, it wasn't really uh, offered. Matter of fact, it wasn't at all. There was nothing in the description. So, uh, you know, I can't expect that. As far as the shutdown problems and the freezing issues, I think that it might have fixed it. Uh, I haven't had any problems. I kind of ran the camera for a little while and I didn't find any issues. So that is a big deal. So anyway, more updates, more good stuff, reviews, tutorials, or just some industry news when it's interesting to me. Visit me on ericnaso.com. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.